Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today is pretty exciting. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me because I'm going to a concert tonight. So super excited. I haven't been to a concert in like two years and this one in particular I'm a huge fan. It's Sam Hunt. If you don't know him he is a kind of country but it's almost like pop um, but I love him. All of his songs are so catchy so I am really excited. Yes, I'm kind of winging this look. Um, I'm going to be applying a lot of my favorites just because I want my makeup to last. Um, kind of disappointing. Apparently it is supposed to thunderstorm all night. So we're on the lawn. Not really sure how it's going to go. <laughs> so if you want to see the look I'll be creating and you know kind of chit chat along with me then keep on watching. Okay, so I didn't want this video to be too, too long, so I already moisturized and primed. I used the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer. This stuff is so luxurious. It feels so thick. It just feels amazing on the skin. And then I applied a little bit of the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. So for foundation, I'm going to be going in with my all-time favorite, the Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm going to use 220 um, neut Natural, Neutral, Natural Beige. Um, normally this is a little bit dark for me, but I have a little bit more color in my skin, so hopefully this works out okay. I think actually I might mix in some of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Um, this one's in the shade Golden Beige. And I'm just going to be blending this all out with my Real Techniques brush. Sorry guys, I had to get a little into it there. I'm trying to get myself hyped up. I'm so excited. I hope it doesn't rain. Okay, so I just applied my concealer. I used the Maybelline Fit Me, and I actually used this e.l.f. concealer. Um, this has like no coverage, to be honest, but I like that this one being high coverage. Putting this on, it kind of helps blend it out and not feel so heavy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set all of that with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Power well, palette, um, the caramel toffee one with this yellow shade. And I'm setting the rest of my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. You guys know this has kind of been my go-to in neutral, I keep wanting to say natural, neutral buff. Okay, so our face is all set. Um, I want to do my eyes now. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to go back in with the e.l.f. Um, Mad for Matte 2 palette. I just really like this. I love that it's all matte shades, and I like the color selection. And I also grabbed the ColourPop Heavy Hitter palette. I actually have not dipped into this. Um, actually, no. I have only dipped into this once since I did my initial tutorial on it. But I love this palette, so I just need to go back in. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in this, um, the, the lightest shade in the Mad for Matte palette to kind of set my eyelids. I totally forgot to apply a primer. Oh well. Okay, so now that our eyelids are set, I think what I'm going to do is go in with, I'm going to mix these two shades and kind of put them in my crease. Just using that same brush. I'm going for a warmer look today. I just think it'll match my shirt. <laughs> um, although the shirt will likely be covered up because it's supposed to be a high of 17 or 18 downtown Toronto. So, yeah. I'm also going to see uh, my cousin's boyfriend's band play downtown Burlington at a Sound of Music Festival. It's a festival they do every summer. Uh, if you want to check his band out, they're called the Ascot Royals. They are so good. into this shimmer shade crap I hate that they don't have the names on here I can't remember what this is called but I'm gonna put this with my finger in the corner of my eye and spread it out um, almost to the end of my lid I love this shadow it is so pigmented and so pretty I'm just gonna go back in with that crease brush and just blend a little bit like that Alright guys, that was extremely frustrating. My eyebrows look like crap. I'm having the worst eyebrow day. I can't seem to figure them out. But anyways, the mascara, I actually really, really like it. I don't think I have the same, you know, like life-changing experience that I've noticed a lot of 
beauty YouTubers seemed to have, although I have like no complaints. Considering I have like zero eyelashes, I think it really fanned them out, made them look a little bit fuller, a little bit longer, and it actually like spaced them out very well. So I really like it. I think what I'm gonna do now is bronzer. Um, probably put on some fake lashes. So I got these ones from e.l.f. They're the Starstruck from the Looks Lash Kit. And I think they'd be pretty fun for the concert tonight. So I'm going to put these on as well afterwards. But I'm just going to go in with my Butter Bronzer, um, to bronze up my face. Now that we're all bronze, I'm going to dip into my favorite palette that I try so hard not to use in every video because I honestly love it so much. Um, this is, again, the ColourPop Double Play Blush and Highlighter Duo. Um, this blush is so pretty. I don't have any blushes this color. I love it. And this highlight is absolutely insane. So let's just go right in. So these are both extremely pigmented. So I'm going to be tapping this off and just building it up. So we are bronzed, blushed, and highlighted. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pop on those lashes. And then we'll finish up the eye look. That's pretty much, oh, God, I hate doing my hair. I'll got to do my hair too. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So the lashes are now on. They are pretty intense, you know, reaching almost above my eyebrow. But I kind of like it. Also applied just a little bit of eyeliner on the top and a little bit of white in my waterline. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish my eye look by applying some shadow to my lower lash line. And I think I'm going to lighten up my inner corner again. So I'm reaching back into my ColourPop Heavy Hitter palette. So I'm just going back into this shade here and putting that a little bit more intense on my inner corner. And dragging it slightly, sorry I'm like slouching, slightly below my lash line. And I think I'm going to go back into this orange color, but just start with, you know, barely any shadow. Really tap it off and kind of smudge that out underneath. So lips. Um, I want, I'm not really sure what I want to do because I want um, to apply something that I don't have to stress about the whole night. Um, smudging or wearing down and having to reapply a whole lot. I was thinking of going in with one of my matte liquid lipsticks. However, my lips are kind of dry today. Could go in with a lipstick. Just not sure what would look good with this eye look. I think while I think about it, I'm going to set my face. I'm going in with my all-time favorite setting powder, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I know this eye look is kind of something that I seem to be doing a lot on my channel. It's very similar. It's just this is kind of like my go-to thing. And because this is an event where I want to look, you know, a certain way, I tend to go for my go-to looks. But I'll try to be a little more creative in some of my future tutorials. So let's set our face. Like I said, I'm just going to put a tiny bit more powder in the areas where I tend to get more oily. And I'm just going back in with the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Pressed Powder. And I like to do this right after I applied the setting spray because it really kind of like locks it in place. There we go. So we should be good for quite some time now. Actually, I think I want to apply a tiny bit more blush. I feel like it got a little bit, you know, washed out. And you know what? Now that we applied that setting spray, why don't we intensify that highlighter just a bit? Okay guys, so for lips, I'm going to apply this Marcel 2-in-1 Retractable Plumping Lip Liner. This is in the shade Natural. So it's kind of like a pinky nude. I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in slightly with this. And I'm actually going to go in with the Maybelline Hot Sand Matte Lipstick. I just kind of wore this actually in a few recent videos of mine, but I really, really like it. So I'm just going to put this on. It's very pale. So you can even see how dry my lips are with this lipstick. Um, so I think what I will do now is my hair and then I don't know how I'm feeling about these lips. So let me do my hair and then come back and we will kind of put the whole thing together. Alright guys, so after I did my hair, the lips grew on me. So I'm just going to be bringing this lipstick with me and it should be easy enough to apply if I need to throughout the night. And if it fades, 
what can you do? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I was going to curl my hair and I was so excited to because you guys probably know I don't think I've curled my hair in one of my videos. But it is already starting to rain outside. Ugh. So I figured why not, you know, why waste my time really? I honestly don't even know how it works if you go to a concert and it's pouring rain and you're on the lawn. Like, is there a tarp? no idea um so hopefully you guys liked this video um hopefully you guys liked the look i know i wasn't the best at explaining in this video a little bit distracted just really excited to be honest so um thank you guys as always for watching subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button if you did like this video and i'll see you guys in my next video